Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that is Comp144 Gaming. Now, as the first video back, I thought I'd take you on a quick tour of our multiplayer server. Here's the IP, we'll put it in the this corner here so you can access it at any point during the video. And yeah, the king the, the server's called The Kingdom. And yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick tour. Okay, so you spawn here in this room. It's got a ow. And I'll just turn that volume down, that's a bit. There we go. Anyway, yes, you spawn in this rather uh small rule room. So there's only a few rules, just just have a quick look through them. It's just the basics. And this is the most crucial wall. We we have build protection on the server, so if you it's to stop basically griefers coming on and just wrecking everything. So if you want to be a builder on the server, you have to apply. And by apply, I mean send an email to the email on this sign, which is the oddcast at yahoo.co.uk, and actually state why you want to be a builder, not not just, I want to be a builder, let me on now. Anyway, and here we have a couple of tutorials in terms of plugins we have on the server because it's bucket run. So, for instance, you can lock you can lock furnaces so no one else can exit them, you can also lock doors and put timers on them but all is explained in this room, just have a look through. Now to reach the kingdom itself you enter through this door at the end which is actually a portal, it's another plugin we have and that will teleport you to the portal chamber Ah, and yeah we have a couple of other portals leading to other locations in the world but I'll let you explore them by yourself and here we are the kingdom itself. Now, when you spawn, here is the jail. Now, the jail is actually functioning, so if you do annoy anyone, they will jail you, so please be aware of that. And uh, also, we have shops on the server, so if I just engage my hands here, you can see you have entered the shop corner store. And if you walk up to this sign, you can uh, browse the shop, what the shop is offering, and to buy an item, you just type buy, and then let's say diamond sword, or whatever. And uh, basically, anyone who joins the server is given a balance, and to check your balance, you just type slash money, and as you can see, I've got 2,098 coins. Uh, you can earn money by uh, selling items to shops, or setting up your own shop, and... In fact, uh, putting your own items on for sale, so we have two player-owned shops there. Now, continuing on, we have this 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 section I like to call the shopping district because it's got all the shops and all the the entertainment aspects about the kingdom. And if we enter into the main sector, you can see this massive forest, which is the national park, and we have strict regulations on no building. And here is the place where you can just chop down trees to your liking as long as you replant them. So yeah, it's quite a useful, um, sustainable way of living. So now we reach the uh, the residential sector. So players have houses. And if you join, if there are any vacant houses like uh, uh, that one over there I think is vacant, then you can, have, you can have it because we want to get the kingdom as full as possible. And, yeah, we have a couple more stuff. We have a portal to the nether room there. We have another sh shop called the Emporium, where you can buy and sell food. And, uh, oh, the Piste de Résistance. Uh, recently, I managed to make a, uh, a piston run cobblestone generator. And if you just give it a second, it out of pickaxe, unfortunately. But what you do is you mine a block of cobblestone here. And then pistons will forge the cobblestone. Uh, hang on, I just need to spark it off. And then push another one out. And then you once you finish, you just come down here and collect your cobblestone. Anyway, moving on, we have some more houses here. Our art gallery down there, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can have a look at that yourself. Then we have the Museum of All Blocks of Minecraft up here. And also farming area. So that's where... You can farm anything you want as long as you replant as as usual. And up here we have our public facilities, the room covered in water. And basically when you when you first spawn, first start out, if you don't have a house, you can come in here and use the furnaces or or some of the chests to store items. But please be aware that they are public chests, so people may nick your stuff. 
So anyway, uh, this is the, oh that's the castle up there, that's where I live. Anyone can have a look inside if they want, and there's quite a nice observation deck, which I may show at the end of the video. And here is a garbage chute as well. Anyway, so there are three sections in the kingdom, we've explored through two, and now we enter into the final sector. The sector which is miscellaneous really, it's got quite a lot of cool stuff in, including the view of my very own personal Nyan Cat, which is pi pixel perfect actually, apart from the nose, and oh, just like to say, everything on the server is legitimate, nothing is spawned in, uh, we try to keep it that way, so please don't pester anyone for spawning in of items, I don't think we have any ops, we run it purely on plugins, so yeah, here's another player run shop, a biodome there, and this is quite cool actually, this is the entrance to the combat arena, not many people actually know it's here because it's quite, uh, quite not very obvious, but if you come down here then you enter the lobby area, and basically the combat arena is where you can bet and fight people, and rip their brains out with whatever weapon you choose, and uh, here it is. Hallelujah. So yes, that's just a brief tour of the uh, server. Uh, the the uh, IP address is in the top left hand corner if you want to connect and say hi. You'll be spawned in as a guest, which means you won't be able to build, but you can have a look around and just see if the server's for you. And remember, when applying, please don't just say, I want, want build rights, please just give them to me. Please say actually a bit of basic information about yourself and uh, just just why you want to join and if you've got if you've got any photos of any previous creations or any other servers then they'll always be appreciated. But oh yeah, final final note uh, to lock a chest or door or furnace or um, whatever you can think of. Basically, what you get you get a sign and then you place it in front of your door furnace or whatever, or above it, doesn't really matter, and then you type exactly as I put it, square bracket, P-R-I-V-A-T-E, spelling private, and then close square bracket, and then your name should automatically appear, and basically that, that makes that chest impossible to be opened by any other user but you. But yeah, this is just a quick interior tour of the castle. I'll just take you up to the uh, viewing point and then conclude this video. Oh, bit of wood there. But anyway, yes, the reason there has been a delay between videos is because we have had a switch in the fact that I've totally switched from uh, Windows computers to Mac computers. So you're now on a Mac. Doesn't it feel so pure and clean and <laughs> whatever? <laughs> But basically, that, that took me quite a while to get hold of the recording software I needed. But uh, here is the observation deck, if you will. And my own hot air balloon. But yes, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope to see, uh, I have to be making videos a lot more often now. And please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.